Hello, my name is Jacqueline Loetta, and in this video I will be discussing cardiac troponin C. We will begin by talking about troponin C in general. Troponin C is a calcium sensing component of the troponin complex, a key complex involved in muscle contraction. It is expressed in both cardiac and skeletal muscle. Troponin C is one of three proteins which make up the troponin complex. Troponin is a central regulatory protein involved in the contraction of striated muscle. This complex is located with tropomyosin on the actin filament. As mentioned, troponin consists of three subunits. Troponin I, which acts as an inhibitor of actomyosin ATPase. Actomyosin ATPase is a catalyst of ATP hydrolysis when the myosin head group is interacting with actin. Troponin also consists of troponin T, which anchors the entire complex to tropomyosin, and troponin C, our primary protein of interest in this video. So why are we interested in this particular protein? This protein is essential for contraction of our heart muscle. The binding of calcium to troponin C abolishes the inhibitory action of troponin I. This allows for interaction between actin and myosin, the hydrolysis of ATP, and ultimately the generation of tension for muscle contraction. Mutations in cardiac troponin C specifically have been associated with hypertrophic and dilated cardiomyopathy. Medicinally, cardiac troponin C is an important target for regulation of calcium binding affinity because it directly impacts the calcium sensitivity of muscle contraction for treatment of cardiomyopathies and heart failure. Here we see the N-terminal domain of cardiac troponin C interacting with a few stabilizing compounds, as well as troponin I colored in red. Let's look further into troponin C's functionality. In both cardiac and skeletal muscle, muscular force production is controlled primarily by changes in intracellular calcium concentration. In general, when calcium rises, the muscles contract, and when it falls, muscles relax. Each tropomyosin dimer is associated with one troponin complex and seven actin monomers. When calcium becomes bound to specific sites in the end domain of troponin C, a series of protein structural changes occur such that tropomyosin is rolled away from the myosin binding sites on actin, allowing myosin to attach to the thin filament and produce force. Now let's discuss the structural components of troponin C which contribute to its functionality. Cardiac troponin C is a 161 amino acid protein and a member of the EF hand calcium binding protein family. An EF hand is a helix loop helix structural motif found in a large family of calcium binding proteins. The EF hand consists of two alpha helices linked by a short loop region that usually binds calcium ions. Troponin C contains an N-lobe and a C-lobe. Both domains have two EF hands each, seen here. The C-lobe serves a structural purpose and binds to the N domain of cardiac troponin I. The EF hands found here are high affinity calcium binding sites. However, they are capable of binding magnesium as well. Only one of the EF hands found in the N-terminal domain bind calcium. However, this is at a lower affinity than those of the C domain. Still, the N-lobe is considered the regulatory lobe of cardiac troponin C. It binds to the C domain of troponin I after association with calcium. Binding of calcium to the regulatory N-terminal domain of cardiac troponin C is the key event that links cytoplasmic calcium influx to muscle contraction meaning it is this regulatory unit which plays the crucial role of turning muscle contraction on and off in response to calcium. So what happens when mutated forms of cardiac troponin C are produced instead? Although mutations in cardiac myosin and cardiac troponin I and T more heavily contribute to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, seven mutations associated with HCM in cardiac troponin C have been found. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a rare condition in which heart muscle cells become enlarged, thickening the walls of the ventricles. This makes it harder for blood to leave the heart, which forces it to work more in order to pump blood. 
sometimes causing chest pain, shortness of breath, or even fainting. HCM is a common cause of sudden cardiac arrest in young people. However, it often goes undiagnosed as many people with the disease have few, if any, symptoms. Cardiac troponin C's association with HCM makes it a target for treatment of this condition. Displayed here are chemical compounds known to bind to cardiac troponin C. Of these compounds, a molecule called DFBPO was shown to bind the interface between the end terminus of cardiac troponin C and cardiac troponin I, enhancing the binding between these two proteins and increasing calcium sensitivity. This helps improve cardiac output and combat some of the symptoms associated with HCM. We've now covered the importance of troponin C calcium binding and muscle contraction, as well as the structural features which contribute to cardiac troponin C's essential functionality. We've discussed a mutated form of cardiac troponin C as etiology for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and the medicinal importance of increasing the calcium binding affinity of this protein. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.